This is why the Arkansas black gets its name. Apples are so dark red. I think I'm up to three bushels off the tree so far. And I'll make that four bushels. Forgot about the bushel of perfect apples I got in the fridge. Kind of afraid of having a rat dog out here. I just saw a human good bird of prey flying around. should have blogged while I was washing the apples. I had a lot to say then. I'm just all blank now. Come here little girl. Oh. Got Trixie a harness. Gets a couple more inches on her. I got her leather harness too. Went to PetSmart for the first time in my life. Any place that allows dogs in it like that is pretty cool in my book. Don't know if I'd bring Trixie in there because a lot of them are pit bulls. And I can imagine a dachshund picking a fight with a pit bull. She'd lose. So I've been thinking of dog food for Trixie. Now, every other dog has always lived off the generic and getting thrown meat scraps. No problems, but Eukanuba has a dachshund food with glucosamine. And that may help stave off any back problems. And Kit's I think the only dog I've had that's got arthritis in his old age and put him on glucosamine food and it fixed him right up. So I'm on a dachshund for him. Ask about it. Oh no, he can't feed that. That's all corn filler and... Oh crap. No good. Bad. Coyotes in the wild around here eat deer and pheasants. The vegetables they get out of the deer and pheasants is corn. The parts they eat off the deer and pheasants are what we call byproducts. The glucosamine high food or parts of the chicken or fowl, pheasants, are the byproducts. They judge dog food by what they would want to eat, not by what the dogs would want to eat. I found dead pheasants before. The things that are gone are the heads, the feet, the guts, and that's it. They don't eat the breast meat. When they take down a deer, they eat the anus, and enough meat to get themselves into the guts and then they take some of the guts. They don't reach in and get the tenderloins out and eat the best cuts of the meat. But every time I've ever been on a dog forum I run in those things, same kind of people. If it's not the people about the dog food it's breeders saying that they're the only ones who should breed and everybody else is a backyard breeder or a puppy mill or some other kind of crap like that. Of course, they're perfect. When I was looking for Trixie, I was looking online and I came across one of those breeders. Oh, she's not a kennel. Well, if she's not a kennel, that makes her a backyard breeder, but she's not a backyard breeder either because those are bad. So she just charges three times as much for her dogs as everyone else. And I should point out, none of her dogs were standard ducks in color. I 
Hey, how about that? I actually had a little rant without going into a string of cuss words. Ha! So since everybody's talking about homophobics and gay bashing and all this other stuff, it's really sad when somebody comes on to a knitting forum and talks about their son wanting to knit, but their husband doesn't like it. Number one, your hobbies don't make your sexual preference. Number two, if the kid would happen to be gay, the father needs to get the fuck over it. About the only reason I can think of not to want your son to start knitting would be because he might get picked on for it because there's other idiots out there just like the father. It was originally a man's thing to do. And not too long ago it was the man's thing to do. But originally the men were the tailors and the women were the spinsters. Women weren't allowed to knit. As late as World War II, men were knitting for men in the army. Men in the army were knitting for all that hurry up and wait time. So in just a few short decades, Someone somewhere decided it wasn't the manly thing to do and they got pushed around or males are afraid to do it. No, don't eat rocks. A new trick, she eats rocks. She really likes apples. When I was cutting up the apples, I threw, a, threw her a slice and kept her quiet for a while. I thought it might ruin her dinner, but she still ate all of her food. And I'll just try to get you a picture of a male cardinal, but he flew away before I got the camera over there. Looks like I might get five gallons this time. I'd guess that to be somewhere between 10 to 12 pounds per gallon. So I found the city's animal laws and I guess when they got started pushing for a dog limit per household they got the dog people interested in the law making process and changed a lot of the things like the three strikes you're out barking law. Now it's an officer declares your dog a nuisance and then they impound it and you get fined every time. Which is better than having to get rid of the dog. Also found a lot of other laws that I don't think anybody knows about. The problem with the city's animal laws is the way it annexes. I forget how long ago this area was annexed but they made promises of sidewalks that have never come through. In fact, if you go two houses down into the country, you can tell where you hit the country because there's a line where the roads get better in the country. So we're just here for taxes. But they annex in fingers. They annex up one way, up the other way, and then they decide they use some state law says they can fill in between the fingers. So you're here in between a finger with your horses or other livestock. Can't have pet rabbits here. You're in between one of those fingers you have no say in whether you become part of the city. You could be a dog breeder out there. They annex you without your say. You can no longer be a dog breeder because well when they're trying to pass the dog limit. Well, it looks like just about five gallons and I'm calling it quits so I can go pick some apples and get the battery charged for Survivor.
Yeah, Arkansas black is all picked. Probably three and a half bushels there. One and a half inside on the floor. One bushel of keepers in the fridge. And probably two already squished. Maybe three, I forget now. Yeah, I think it was three already pressed. So nine bushels off that tree. Two bushels off each off those trees. So Thirteen bushels of apples for the year. The last apple. This is where it gets depressing. I always hate that last apple.